Okay, here's our highlights and tips video. This has to do with support and defensive zone positioning. So right here, they have the puck in our end. You see Jazz, who's the defenseman, is the bull on this play. And look at her go. Boom. She gets out on her. She pressures the puck hard. I love it. Nala's in a perfect position. She's basically halfway between the puck and the net. And like I say, guys, if that player with the puck is under a lot of pressure you can cheat a little closer to the puck if they have a lot of time you want to move a little closer to the net Nala's is in a perfect spot right here Kate might be a little bit low but not too bad okay so what are their roles right here Kate's uh, sorry Nala's role is if this girl beats Jazz or she moves the puck low or she loses the puck low or whatever Nala's the person to help on any low puck, okay? Kate's job is to help on any high puck. So if this girl were to curl high, Kate's there to help. If this girl was to lose the puck high, Kate's there to help. If she's trying to pass to the defenseman, Kate's there to help. So the winger is the high help, the center is the low help. Couple other things, I like what we're doing in front here. But our weak side winger on this play, you need to be right there in the high, right in that house, okay, in the middle of the ice right here. Over here, if that puck squirts that defenseman, you're too far out of play, okay? So let's get to the middle of the ice. But overall, this isn't too bad, guys. This is pretty good. But we kind of get out of our positions. Watch this. Come on. See, Nala comes a little high now. So now we have two high support players and nobody low. And, and so when that happens and Jazz gets pinned off by a bigger girl, this girl has a free path to the net. And now it's basically a one, two, three on... Well, Nyla, Nyla does a good job of getting back to the house. So it's basically a three on two. So good job, Nyla, getting back in to help. I love that. Okay. This girl can come around the net. Nyla's there to help, which is great. Girl gets a wrap around. Zoe makes the save. So just remember, we need that low support player. Don't cheat out, okay? But, hey, look. Here's an example of Nala doing an even better job, okay? So this time, she doesn't cheat out. She's right in there low. She sees the girls in a lot of trouble. She gets in there to help. She squeezes out the puck, okay? That's a really good job. Here's an even better job, okay? So on this play, this girl has a little bit more time. She has a little bit more time. So what does Nala do? She stays a little closer to the net. She gets her stick down. She picks off that pass, okay? And then boom, off to the races. Look how easy that breakout is, okay? So girls, just remember, support, okay? When that puck's in the corner, defenseman is our bull, center halfway between the puck and the net, if that player is under a lot of pressure cheat to the puck if the player has a lot of time cheat to the net winger we need a high support player so if the player puck comes high you're there to help and other winger middle of the ice you're our guard dog okay pretty good job guys but remember that here's to uh, another tip this is for our defensemen guys this is such an important tip um, anytime you are wheeling the puck you always want to look and see the four checkers. If the four checker follows you behind the net, you keep going. But if that four checker cuts in front of the net, stop behind the net. Okay, it's going to give you a second to look. So watch what happens when you don't do that. Okay, so you can see this girl has a clear path. She knows Ellie's coming around. She's cheating and she's going to get to Ellie right there take away all our time and space now ellie has to make a rushed panic decision you can see right one two three players for etobicoke all in really good position ellie has no time to take a look and we're going to turn over that puck okay so just remember always look first okay here's another example this is ariana coming around same thing they're just cheating off. They know she's coming around. I'm going to get her here. She has no time. She has to panic rim the puck, and it's a turnover. Okay? So just remember, always look first. Here's another example. Ariana coming around. You see them cheating. Stop. 
Okay, stop. Haley goes to her boards, and we're breaking that puck out. Okay, go back to Ellie's example again. Imagine if Ellie stopped here. Boom. Whoops, let me go back a second. If Ellie stops right here, you can see this girl is going to be so far out of position right here. Ellie's going to come back the other way, okay? She's going to have the option to skate the puck. She's going to have the option to hit Kate with a pass. She's going to have an option to hit our center Nala with a pass. Maybe she's cutting back like this, okay? It's going to be a one, two, three on one player, okay? So remember my tip. When you're skating behind the net, if nobody's following you and there's somebody cutting in front, don't go through. Stop, okay? Important tip for you defensemen. It'll make your life so much easier. Couple more tips. Remember, defensive zone faceoffs. We want to go up the weak side. And you can see why right here. We win the draw, we turn, and we throw the puck up this side. But you can see there's just too many Etobicoke players on any faceoff. They're going to be stacked on this side of the ice. We got to get the puck to the weak side. Okay, so you win that draw. Taya, get going weak side. Let's get that puck going weak side. Okay, remember where you're going. Um, offensive zone support. Now, guys, this is one all the way up to the NHL level that will talk about this exact same thing. We got to support loose pucks. You got to outnumber people on loose pucks in the corner. So you can see right here it's a loose puck. It's a 50-50 puck. But we sort of have two girls waiting for Kate to win it. But Kate's going against two girls in the corner, right? So realistically, is Kate going to win this puck? come out with the puck and get you the puck it's not gonna happen we got to get in and help okay you get in and help you work the puck to the defenseman we get a shot on net you go to the net you score goals okay so let's get in there and help all right that's you'll you'll hear that the rest of your lives in hockey outnumber people in the corners okay two on the puck on loose pucks okay here's another tip this is for back checking forwards when you're back checking you got to grab the open man. So don't just skate back. Skate back and grab someone. Okay, so you can see here, we get way too puck focused. That means that one, two, three, four of our players are completely focused on that puck. Jazz is doing a great job. Just give her support. That's all she needs. But um, everybody's going to the puck, and then you get these two open players wide open. Boom. Really, that might have been their best opportunity of the game. What do we want to do on these plays? We want to grab those open players. So right now, like, we got two forwards back checking. Grab them. You should be right beside those players. Don't everybody follow the puck, okay? We got Ariana too. She's new to defense, but you got to be turned around, looking to see where the danger is. Actually, really great tip is to tell your forwards, hey, pick them up, pick them up, point at them, whatever. Haley, pick them up. Lillian, pick them up. Okay? Communicate. All right? We kind of get lost. We get way too puck focused, and they get their best chance. Grab the open man. Don't be too puck focused. Here's another tip. I know you guys know this, but we always need a hawk, and here's why. We lose the draw. Okay? The puck goes in the corner, so now we're in four-check mode. As soon as they have the puck in their zone, we're in four-check mode. We need a bull, we need a fox, we need a hawk. But what do we have? We have our bull, Nala, right? But now we got two players standing in front of the net. Okay, we don't have the puck right now, so we got to get into four check mode right now. Okay, we're not in four check mode. We don't have a fox, we don't have a hawk. And now our D, it's a rim puck. They want to, they want to uh, pressure this puck. They want to pinch. But the problem is Ariana pinches, and fortunately she keeps the puck in. But if that puck gets past Ariana, it's a two-on-one because we don't have a hawk or a fox, okay? There's still a scramble, and we still don't have a fox or a hawk, okay? We need to get in position to help. The puck gets out. We get really lucky here, right? Really lucky. Look, it could have been a two-on-one if they win this race, but Jazz breaks it up. That makes a great play. Guys, you lose that draw. You're instantly into four-check mode. Okay, Nala goes to the puck, so she's the bull. We need a fox, we need a hawk, okay? 
You get in that hawk position and our D can pinch all day long because you're there to back them up. Always support your defenseman's pinches, okay? That's an important lesson. Most important lesson of all, don't turn away from the puck. Girls, when you turn away from a shot, you're at risk, okay? Nyla right here puts herself at risk, all right? What you want to do, the closer you are to that puck, the more likely it's going to hit you in your legs. Your legs are the most protected part of your body, okay? So get out there quick, okay? Get out there fast. All your protection's on the front of your body, okay? Don't turn away. The back of your body is much more vulnerable, okay? So don't turn away. Be safe, okay? So those are the big tips. Here's a couple more things, little things. D to D passes, defensemen. I want us to make more of these. We got to open up the ice more. Like you can see, Taya here, the first play, she kind of forces the puck up the same boards. All the traffic's on this side. All the open ice is on this side. Okay, we force it up the boards. It's kind of a dead play. But then Taya gets it back. Now look at this, right? Look at all that open ice, and she makes a great... Look at all that open ice now. The game looks so pretty when you get it to open ice, okay? Ariana, I would love to see you skate that puck, okay? You got all those wheels. Chip it, go get it, tack the net. You're so fast, okay? So, girls, let's work those DDDs. Communicate, weak side D. Call for those DDDs, okay? Don't just stand around. Call for it like that. Boom, she's gone. Beautiful. Okay, let's make more of those D to D's. And here's a tip for forwards. Forwards, use the points. We have great shots on the points. Um, you have teams like Etobicoke that just collapse. Like, look, all five of their players are low. And we're still trying to attack the puck low. Like, look, a little past the defenseman. We got two wide open defensemen. Defensemen, too, if they collapse like this, move in right to the tops of the circles if they're going to play. If they're going to play that low, you move into the tops of the circles. Call for that pass. You're wide open right now, okay? Same over here. Look, a little tap up the boards, right? Ariana's wide open right now. We kind of try to keep forcing the puck low, forcing it low. Now, we do get the puck here because they shoot it up the boards, not because we passed it. And Ariana, look, it's not a great shot, but hey, little tip in front, it's a chance, right? Use the points, guys. When you use the points, it's going to force them to respect the points, and it's going to open up the, the ice for you in the offensive zone. All right? So more D to D passes, and let's use the points a little more. A couple more uh, highlights I want to show you. There were some really good skates in the game. Um, here's, uh, here's Nala with a nice skate. Should have been a penalty right here. Kate going to the net hard, stick on the ice, almost jams it in. Really nice play. Uh, here's another one. I think this is Nala as well. Nice skate. Protects the puck. Drives it wide. Good chance. Okay. Um, there's a couple other ones here. Is this the Nala one? I might have just done the same one again. Yeah, that's the same one. Um, and here's a... Ariana had a couple great skates in this game. Actually, there was another... I might have erased the clip, but... It was almost the same. She did it twice where she just like... Uses crossovers and speed, protects the puck. She's never at risk to lose the puck. I would love to see her just drive wide right here and let her forwards go to the net. She kind of loses it there, but like really nice skate, girls. I want to see those skates get moving. She's got no one to pass it to, right? She's got a skate. She uses her wheels. But what you want to do right here is just get drive that puck wide if you got no one to give it to. And let your forwards go to the net get it to them okay really nice job so overall guys oh i got one more tip i want to show you this is my this is actually my favorite highlight of the game it's so basic but it's so important right seven seconds left in the game the or sorry in the first period pucks in our zone Haley makes a super smart play here she just eats the puck it's like okay we're not going to score here i just want to get out of the period she just eats the puck it's simple it's smart. The period's over. Threat's over. The, the lesson here is clock awareness, guys. Be aware of the time and the situation. Haley did a really good job of this at the end of the first. 
we didn't do a great job of it at the end of the third period, right? Where they score with 20 seconds left. We didn't have people, you know, we just didn't make good decisions for 20 seconds left with the puck in our zone in a 2-2 game. Always be aware of the clock. Make smart plays. Okay, really good tip um, for all of you guys. So lots of lots in this video. Lots of good things in the game. It wasn't all bad, but oh man, lots of learnings in there, guys. Soak this stuff up because this is gold, man. This this information is gold. It will make you a much much better hockey player, and it'll make us a much much better team. See you at the rink.